What are some of the things people think therapy is? But in reality, it's just like the building blocks for greatness. But maybe people just don't know what that is. Like, what's the bridge? For me, I think a lot of people think that therapy is only for people who are really depressed or crazy or something has to be going really bad in my life. I was once at a dinner with my girlfriends and someone said, I don't know why you go to therapy. Like, no one's died in your family. And I was like, what? Wow. Um, and it, I was like, we're living in like a very woke progressive city and there's still people are still saying stuff like that and I think what therapy actually is is a way to be a better communicator it's a way to understand what your triggers are like what are environments that put you make you more anxious so that you can avoid them or work through them it's made me be better at um setting healthier boundaries. Like you don't even realize, say Joy's jokes, I'm like, oh, I have perfect relationships. And you don't realize that you might actually have a really unhealthy relationship with your family, with your friends. So there's so many important tools. And I think when it can be looked at, when people see it more as like, oh, this is a way to be the most successful and best version of myself versus like, this is, I'm in a crisis which it still is also for that too, but I'm, you know, like I'm, something is wrong with me. I've now been labeled as a crazy person. When you can shift that thinking, it's such a powerful tool. And I, obviously you can tell I'm passionate about it. Like, I feel like the world would be a better place if everyone was in therapy. Yeah, I mean, I think just to speak to kind of one common misconception is that some people feel like, I don't want to talk about my past, you know, my childhood, I don't need to get into that. And, the truth is that therapy looks different for everyone and your therapy might not look like talking about your past, but also there's a lot of value in looking at our past because it, our past informs our present, right? And so looking at our early experiences and how that impacts the way that we interact with the world around us and the way we interact with people in our lives and the way that our neurobiology develops, um, it's immensely helpful when you're moving forward in life. One other thing too, another misperception is that I think Therapy sort of been like dramatized on in movies and shows. And I think a lot of people are really surprised that the different types of therapists, like we have therapists on our platform that are Latino and black and young and old. And I think a lot of people just think it's like an old man with bifocals that like takes mm -hmm. notes. It's like we sit down, like in Good Will Hunting or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you're sitting on that couch and you can't see them, you're like in Mad Men or something. And a lot of the people who watch our digital discussions give us feedback that's like, I had no idea that a therapist could bring that kind of energy. Or like, I didn't realize that a therapist with like tattoo sleeves could be on and like, you know, they're so different and, and they all have different approaches. And I think that's something that blows people's mind when they watch our free content. I think the biggest myth is that it is seen as something as a last resort when you're in crisis or something has gone horribly wrong in your life and really what it is is a tool to an everyday every week tool that you can use to be the best version of yourself it's someone you can talk to something i've learned in therapy too is that people will tell me in fact a lot of investors that i pitch will be like well i don't go to therapy but i have a friend that i use <laughs> as a therapist that's really great and i'm like mm -hmm, okay and what I've learned in therapy is that without even knowing it, that we all project our own um, biases and insecurities on people. And I was someone who was, I never realized until I went to therapy that I was someone that I overly ask for multiple people's decisions when I'm trying to make my own decision or opinions. I'll say, what do you think? And what do you think? And it can be exhausting when you don't realize that they're, that's, you've actually hit a trigger of something they're wildly insecure about. And you don't realize they're actually projecting on you and saying like, oh, well, you shouldn't move, you know, because you'll never make it in that new town. And maybe they like had, you know, had a similar experience. And when I learned that, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And if, so I think it's like, even if you're trying to make a big decision in your life or smaller decisions, to go to someone who has no agenda who's literally trained professionally to not have a biased opinion um, and, and just give you like, well, what, you know, well, what have you thought about it from this perspective? And to have that in a safe space is so important. Or sometimes I'll even be like, you know, I got in a fight with my husband, like, was I being an asshole? I don't know. Mm. And, you know, sometimes they're like, yeah, that was kind of me. At least I can trust her opinion as like an honest one. And so I think to me, that is something that 
I would love for more people to experience because I think it's invaluable. Really, I think you go when you're in crisis, that's when you, you know, get past that crisis and then you can actually work on yourself when you're not in a place of high distress. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.